Alright, uh, what is going on YouTube? This is Who's Fusion here, Orders Fusion. And today I have a little cool tutorial for you guys. Um, this today's tutorial is going to be showing you guys how to flash an Xbox 360 console. Um, later in this video, actually later in the future, sorry, I will be bringing out tutorials on how to flash the light on drives, the, um, the Samsung, and the Hitachi drives as well as that. But uh, today for this video, I'll be showing you guys how to flash a BenQ um, drive, as you guys can see here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says BenQ right there. But um, we have LT 3.0 plus firmware. So um, the things you're needing is the um, Jungle Flasher, the latest version of Jungle Flasher, and the LT 3.0 plus firmware for your Xbox drive. So basically, what you guys want to do is open up your computer. If you guys do have a available um, port, sorry, SATA port on your computer, make sure you plug one into the one end of the SATA connector into your computer, like so. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's like 12 o'clock at night, so you won't be able to see stuff, but uh, best I can do. But um, as you can see here, the little orange wire is my SATA, my SATA uh, port to my computer. And then what you want to do now is plug one side into your computer, like I said before, and one side into your Xbox 360 DVD drive, as you can see right here. And if you guys are using your Xbox 360 um, as a power source for your drive. I wouldn't recommend it, but as you can see here, this is just a sitting on Xbox, so I don't really mind to be honest with you guys. But uh, make sure you have your connector, your uh, your drive powered on, um, even for the X360 USB, which you guys can purchase. But if you guys do have a BenQ, I would highly not recommend. I would highly recommend not to buy it because there's no point wasting like sixty dollars just on the X360 USB. Which is power on your drive for your power brick. But, um, so just quick view again you got your SATA um, port one connected to your computer and one to your Xbox 360 BenQ drive. So, um, uh, and you got your power source running for your Xbox and to your drive. So, now, um, pretty much what you want to do is download the um, LT 3.0 firmware and the Jungle Flasher, which is the latest version. And I'll bring you guys to my PC and show you what to do from there. I am back on the computer with the second part of this tutorial. So once you have done what I did in the first part of this video, connect your Xbox 360 via SATA port on your computer and your Xbox 360 is powered on, you can proceed with the next step which is going to be downloading the Jungle Flash, sorry, Jungle Flash V0.1.92 beta which is the latest Jungle Flasher for the LT 3.0 firmware. So once you've downloaded that, make sure you download the LT plus v 3.0.bin which is the LT um, plus 3.0 firmware for the new drive. So um, once you've got all that out of the way, click Jungle Flasher and go, basically once you open up Jungle Flasher, you will get an error. So um, what you want to do is go to LIB USB and just copy the .dl and just paste it in the main folder of Jungle Flasher and that should fix all the errors while loading Jungle Flasher. So if you guys do have a 64-bit operating system like me, this will not work, but um, there is a way to do it. I'll pretty much link it tutorial in the description by it's Lupo. Um, it's the same method like this, but you just have to enable test mode and just sign a system uh, file to your computer so you can read the pretty much the port IO64 system for the Jungle Flasher to load. So um, that's out of the way, right click Jungle Flasher and go run as administrator, click yes. Just close out of this and it should say loading, as you can see Jungle Flasher 0.1.92 beta. Alright so as you can see now, loaded now, so what you guys want to do, once you see everything's all good, it says 64-bit uh, process and that's all good, uh, go to MTK, MTK Flash 32 and make sure you find your correct IO port which is your Xbox 60 DVD drive. So as you can see mine just the BenQ drive and it's got all the stuff here. So what you guys want to do is click BenQ unlock. And that should just send the magic keys to the drive. Alright so now once you've done that go to flashing task and click read. And that should just be reading the bank one two and three and four alright so this is the most important step pretty much out of flashing you guys do want to make a 
pretty much a lot of backups of this uh, original firmware because if you guys do want to flashback the stock this is your ultimate file to flashback the stock if you guys do not have this you won't be able to flashback the stock and you'll pretty much just screw yourself over so make sure you save this in a folder you will remember in the future or even burn it to a disk which I will do later so you click new folder I'm just gonna name this um, OG firmware and click the folder Spot firmware wrong. Alright, click the folder and click save. And that should just save the BenQ original firmware. Click save and click no. Alright, so now once you've done that, you should obviously download the um, OLT 3.0 target firmware. So, what you guys want to do now is go open target firmware. So, open target firmware. Click that and just go to your desktop where you download the um, LT Plus V3.0 bin which is your new LT Plus firmware click that and click open now what you need to do is click sp uh, spoof source to target click that and your DVD key, should, DVD key should show and once you've done that is click right sorry I'm just trying to find right go to MTK and go right and that should just write in the bank with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that should just write it again. Now it's just verif verifying that it's okay. Right, so write, verify, okay. And now what you guys want to do before you, um, pretty much before you um, do so, you'll click empty, you go back to MTK Flash 32 before you unplug your Xbox. And actually go auto ATA reset. And that should just reset your Xbox. So thank you guys very much for watching this tutorial. And congratulations, you have successfully flashed your Xbox 360 drive. So uh, if you guys do find this uh, video helpful, please let me a like or the subscription will be highly appreciated. So, Alright, what's up? I'm back again just to show you guys this actually does work. Uh, for the people that are thinking, oh no, it doesn't work, but it actually does work. So uh, as you can see, I got my Xbox 60 drive hooked up again, and as you can see, I'm just gonna play a burnt disc, which is F1 2011. But um, once you guys have done that, put your Xbox back together. I'm gonna quickly show you what the result is. So I'm gonna quickly just power my Xbox. You can see it's all working. No wearing a nap or anything. It's all working. Powered on perfectly. Alright, as you can see, it says open tray because there's no disc in there. So if I click A on my controller, it opens my tray. Now, if I just put the disc in, and this is a burnt disc, by the way, as I said before, as you can see, put it in, click A on your controller again to close it. Now, should reading. Just reading. There we go. Play games. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching my video. And if you guys do.